I thought viewers might be interested in seeing the sort of deconstruction and recovery cycle that I often take a painting through. Here's a picture that I constructed fairly methodically, but which I am now prepared to destroy. Well, I, I really don't want to destroy it, but I'm certainly willing to gamble the status quo to experiment with different directions. In this case, I'm going to attempt to create a different feel by introducing new color variations and reducing the contrast in some areas. I'll begin this by scumbling over large areas with translucent paint. In theory, this will cause more unity and ambiguity, and I'll be forced to make new decisions about where to place edges. One of my goals is to distribute colors more freely while keeping most of my value structure intact. Although I'm now painting across boundaries, enough of my earlier work remains visible that I'm confident of being able to recover shapes where I need to. For now, I'm happy to play with abstractions. I'm going to make an executive decision here to make this top band of my composition darker. As it stands, I think it's too easy for the viewer's eyes to drift out of the top of the picture, and my horizontal band of red is not well supported. This seems better to me. I'm ready to reestablish some highlights. I'm not really concerned about the literal structure of these light bulbs. I just want to make some interesting marks that give the impression. I've knocked back the value and intensity of these bags, and I want to put a little of that back in just a few places. I'll try to force myself just to make two or three shapes before moving on to a new location. In reality, the tops of these bags were red, so I'm going to seize on that in an effort to create a tie-in with the red underside of the awning. I'm recovering some darks here, but I'm trying to keep them on or near my central figure. Now that most of my painting is nicely blurred, I want to try to have an edge on one side of a brush stroke, but to fade out the other side.
Let me add a little more opacity to these bluish shapes on the face. This time around, I want to keep the lights of the apron quite subdued. So I've mixed a tone that is only slightly brighter than the underlying gray mist. Maybe it makes sense to put this intense red here to create a bridge over to the figure. It often seems like I'm doing a dance between painting quickly and almost recklessly and slowing down to concentrate on making a few careful marks. Without deadlines, it's often hard to tell when to quit. Pictures can hang on the studio walls for months. Sometimes I'm happy with them right after I finish a session, but over time I feel the need to roll the dice again with one of these deconstruction recovery cycles to see if I can land in an even better place. I think that's enough for now. Here's the picture before. Not bad, but with a lot of hard edges. Here's after. A little softer and a different color range. The apron is de-emphasized. And the head is now a second reed, just emerging from the background. I think I like it better. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Take care.